What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Tiffany Mari, back with another video. And as you can tell from this title, I am going to be addressing a few things regarding these false prophets here on YouTube. And to be specific, I am referring to Jalen Wilson and Camille Hedrick. But before we get into this video, you guys, I would just like to say that the only reason I am even making this video is because I have received multiple questions regarding these two people. And I believe that they are coming from sincere people who really just want to know what are these people doing in their videos that make you say they're false prophets? What are they doing so wrong? Why are you saying they are false prophets? So I am going to address this because I do believe that in my previous video, I didn't really go into much detail regarding what they're doing in their videos that alerted me to know that they are false prophets. So I'm going to do that today. Another thing that I would like to say is this video is not for those who worship and idolize and look up to these two people because no matter what truth I say, you will not hear it as truth because you have already made up your mind regarding these people. So if you come across this video, you truly might as well keep scrolling, but we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. So the first thing I would like to say on how I know these people are false prophets is simply because the Holy Spirit whom dwells within me has already let me know and made it very clear to me that these people are false prophets and they are not anointed and appointed by God. That's truly the only confirmation that I need, but I will go ahead and address the things that the Holy Spirit brought to my attention when I was watching their videos and how I knew that they were not prophets of God. First thing that I would like to address is the fact that they get on here and they pray to God in front of the whole world so some people may be wondering what does that have to do with anything why is them praying so bad why is that something that makes you feel that they are false prophets that is something that really was a red flag for me simply because prayer is something that is sacred and it's something that is between you and god this is not something that has anything to do with anyone else and it is not something that should be publicized so we're just going to go to scripture that speaks on this which is going to be in matthew going to be Matthew 6 5 through 6 and that states whenever you pray you must not be like the hypocrites because they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by people I assure you they've got their reward but when you pray go into your private room shut your door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you when you pray, don't babble like the idolaters since they imagine they'll be heard for their many words. Don't be like them because your father knows the things you need before you ask him. So that actually brings me to my next point that was a huge red flag for me. And this is more so geared towards Jalen Wilson. So when Jalen Wilson gets on here and he does his praying, he does a ton of babbling, you guys. He just does a whole bunch of talking and it's a bunch of talk about nothing. If you truly listen to him when he's praying, he's saying a whole bunch of nothing and it's just a bunch of babbling. And that was a huge, huge red flag for me besides the fact that he shouldn't be on here praying to begin with. But the next thing that was a huge red flag for me was their speaking in tongues. So Jalen Wilson does a lot more speaking in tongues than Camille, but Camille has done the speaking in tongues as well. So for those who do not know what speaking in tongues is, speaking in tongues is a gift that is given through the Holy Spirit, but it is a gift that should only be used when you have an interpreter nearby. So when you are speaking in tongues, you are speaking to God. So without an interpreter there to interpret what you are saying, the hearers of your tongues, they do not understand what you are saying. Therefore, it serves them no benefit okay it benefits them at it does not benefit them at all which is why the scripture tells you to not speak in tongues unless there is an interpreter amongst you so we're going to go ahead and go to that scripture which is going to be Corinth first corinthians 14 and that's going to be first corinthians 14 27 and that says if any person speaks in another language there should be only two or at the most three each in turn and someone must interpret but if there is no interpreter that person should keep silent in the church and speak to himself and to god so once i saw them on here speaking in tongues 
that was a huge huge red flag for me and also the tongues that they claim to be speaking it all sounds the same and it does not sound like tongues at all it sounds like they're just doing whatever they want to do calling and speaking in tongues so that was a huge red flag for me another thing that i would like to address that was a huge red flag for me is the fact that they willingly profess when they are fasting this is another huge red flag you guys because fasting just like praying is something that is between you and god and you and god only this is not something that the whole world should know about this is not something that you should be bragging about and boasting about this is between you and god so the fact that they are constantly talking about how they're fasting talking about how many days they've been fasting and this that and other about fasting huge red flag because this is another sign of practicing your righteousness in front of men they want you guys to believe that they are just so holy so righteous and just so appointed by god that they just continue to talk about all these things that they are doing which is actually the complete opposite of someone who is truly walking with christ okay huge red flag huge red flag so addressing that i would like to address how i've received so many hate comments talking about how i need to repent and i need to fast and pray First off, you will never know when I'm fasting. You will never know anything about my prayer life because it's none of your business. How could you tell me that I need to repent and fast and pray? You don't know if I'm fasting and praying and you never will. Because like I said, it's none of your business. That is between me and God as it should be between them and God. But they publicize it because they want you to believe that they are just so righteous when they are not. But the next thing that I would like to talk about is the lack of knowledge. So this is more geared toward Jalen Wilson. And I say this because you can tell that it is very evident that he lacks knowledge. In my previous video, I, I spoke on how he says, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? He said it so much, it's irritating. But a lot of people attacked me saying, well, what does that have to do with anything? What does how he talk have to do with anything? Now you're just judging this, that, and other. That there you ask me what does that have to do with anything is another clear indication that you lack discernment so the reason why how Jalen wilson speaks is very important is because the way he speaks is a clear indication that he lacks knowledge and he lacks wisdom which is a clear indication that he does not have the holy spirit dwelling within him because if you have the holy spirit dwelling within you then you would not lack knowledge nor would you lack wisdom but his lack of vocabulary, his way of speaking is a very clear indication that he does in fact lack knowledge and he does in fact lack wisdom. Another thing that was a red flag for me, like I spoke on in the previous video, was the constant promoting of their cash apps. So this is a red flag to me because this is a sign of greed a lot of people were attacking me saying oh you dummy this is just promoting this is just for their ministry this is to support their ministry no if that's what you want to call it then go ahead be my guest but that is not the case this is another sign of greed because at the end of the day when you are doing youtube and you are at that point of to where you're getting paid for youtube your videos already make you money constantly promoting your cash app and constantly promoting ways to get money from others that is a sign of greed that has nothing to do with spreading god's word it has nothing to do with supporting a ministry but if you would like to be deceived to believe that then go ahead and be my guest another thing was the constant promotion of jalen wilson's clothing line so this was a big red flag for me because again this was another sign of greed for me why is it that it's always something that's going to get you some money why is it that you're constantly promoting your pockets being filled it's always about the next dollar and if you do not see that these people are only about the next dollar i truly do not know what to tell you they use clickbait titles so that everyone can click on their videos they use the names of celebrities who have some type of stance in the world so that people can click on their titles so that they can get more views which will give them more money they are greedy and this is very clear but another thing that was a red flag to me is that they seem to be very arrogant and prideful and self-righteous they want you to believe that they are just so anointed and point and appointed by god that you cannot speak on them you can say no wrong about them anything that you say about them you're going to be struck down by god they're very self-righteous and it's so clear that it's sickening but obviously some of you don't see it because you truly don't want to see it and another thing that i noticed 
when I would watch his videos is the signs and the cues of deception. And this was a big red flag for me, but a lot of you may not pay attention to this. You may not have noticed this, but when you have true discernment and you truly have the Holy Spirit dwelling within you, then you pick up on certain things that the next person would not pick up on. So in Jalen Wilson's videos, not only does he say, you know what I'm saying a lot, but he also has a lot of cues of deception. And by that, I mean, he does a lot of fidgeting. He does a lot of touching of the face. He does a lot of looking around. He does a lot of things that are cues for a deception. It's like if you pay attention to his videos, even when he says, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? It's just constant movement. It's like a sign of anxiety. He's anxious because he knows that he's being deceptive. His body is letting it be known that he's being deceptive. But someone who doesn't have discernment, this is not something that you would have picked up on. But this was a big red flag for me and I noticed it immediately. And the last thing that I would like to speak on that was a huge red flag for me is how they both glorify and praise other people on this earth. So they have made multiple videos about people who they claim is anointed by God and who they claim are just such these great holy people, these godly people. And that was a huge red flag for me because you do not even know these people. You do not truly know these people because you do not know their heart, nor do you know their mind. You don't know their thoughts that go on through their head. You do not know these people. Only God truly knows the heart of these individuals. But you get on here on your platform and you praise and worship these people. This was a huge red flag because this is not something that anyone should be doing. You should not be praising and worshiping, glorifying anyone else who is on this earth. So when I saw that, that was another clear indication that something about these individuals is not right. But those are the main red flags that I noticed when I watched these two individuals' videos. The last thing that I would like to say, you guys, is every person who proclaims the name Jesus Christ is not a true follower of Christ, which is why you must be in God's word and you must truly be saved in order for God to give you discernment. Because these false teachers and these false prophets nowadays, they are mixing truth with error in order to deceive you. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, they talk about Jesus. They talk about sin. They talk about repenting. Yes, they do this because they are mixing truth with error. They do this, but they still are mixing in their own thoughts, their own dreams, their own visions, their own agenda, you guys. They are following their own will, not God's will. And you have to have true discernment in order to see this, which is why I am begging you to get in God's word and to truly surrender your life over to him so that you can have true discernment to see the truth, please. That is really all that I have to say in this video. I hope you gained something from this video. I hope you learned something from this video, but I will see you guys in my next video.